Hi and welcome to a new video regarding method reality and image tracking. A few of you have been asking about a few videos about various techniques and engines and let's say frameworks about image tracking. And here we go with the next video. Last time we covered Unity and AR Foundation. This time we'll be covering the needle tools or the needle engine, which is using Unity as solely visual editor and will export everything to WebXR. So we will have a look at WebXR image tracking today. And for those who are worried about the runtime fee that Unity recently introduced, Needle Engine is not part of this runtime fee as the Unity runtime fee will solely rely on the Unity runtime, which is not installed because it's exported to WebXR. So no need to worry, feel free to use the Needle tools and Unity as editor. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in. Let's go to Unity Hub. Click on new project. I'll choose 2023 2.3.9. I'll just use 3D core and I'll just call it AR test needle. Click on create project and wait a little bit for the editor to finish loading. Meanwhile, let's just scroll through the needle site and let's see what they can bring to your application. So needle engine itself uh, basically has a very cool interactive site, which lets you explore all the things that are possible, turn on the lights, view and AR, everything works here. And they even published a very good sample for supporting shader graph. And not only shader graph, but also some kind of networking and everything else that's needed here. And they have a very good samples collection. So feel free to check this out. The needle tools really work pretty good. I played around a lot with them and follow them on Twitter or Instagram on all the social media channels and join their Discord server. They're really helpful and always up for new projects and examples. The thing I like most is the collaboration and the networking part, which is perfectly integrated and is very easy to use, especially over cross devices like VR glasses, we are headsets and smartphones. So without further ado, let's check out the documentation. Before starting with Needle, you have to make sure that everything is installed according to the docs like Node.js, VS Code, the Unity Editor, Blender is not part of this tutorial, maybe another tutorial, and the talk ticks or talk texture for production builds Needle engine with Unity, here we go. Step one, everything is installed, create a new Unity project and install the Unity integration. I already downloaded this package and all you have to do is after opening the editor is go to assets, import package, custom package, go to downloads folder and open the install Needle engine Unity integration Unity package, open, import, wait for the import to finish. Make sure that the editor loses focus one time and refocus it. So everything will be installed. There will be a new scoped registry. And after all the imported stuff is finished, you will see that a new scoped registry is available. Just click on close, go to the player settings, change the color space to linear. So after everything was imported, you see there a needle engine window popping up. So You'll just see that it's a non-commercial license and so on, blah, blah, blah. And there is a sandbox scene, tutorials, samples, etc. I'll just close the needle window for now and delete the sample scene. Delete. And for creating a new scene, you go to file, new scene, and you will find a few scene templates and we'll just start with the minimal scene here. Uh, don't save the old scene stuff and save it to scenes and I'll just call it sample scene here. Here we go, there is a grid, there is a scene already set up with everything and mm, when selecting the export game object there is the open EULA video, uh, window, just tick that evaluation purpose, I read everything, yes I agree. And you can close this window now, click on generate project and the template is read for default. And then we're waiting for needle engine to create our project. 
while this is generating, we're just going to explore the scene. There is a scene root, GLTF object, web AR session root, an event system, and web XR object. You can always look up everything in the description, in the documentation, a camera, a look at for the demo scene, directional light on the grid. And the camera has the camera orbit controls as a component on it which is basically the same as you will find in 3GS. So we're now finished. Needle Engine has generated our project. I think it will still need a few seconds. Waiting for server to start. There will be automatically started after generating. The local server is already running, as you can see here, local network and so on. If you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your laptop, your smartphone can directly access this address and you can test on your mobile device as well, as long as this is running. Let's see here. When opening this link in the browser, usually this opens automatically. And at this time, I guess, let's go to advanced, accept risk and continue. And here is our freshly generated WebXR scene with camera controls. I can enter VR, I can do all the web dev inspection stuff. I can go in with my WebXR tests. Also the web AR is possible here, but for this project only, we won't do anything too highly sophisticated. We'll just create an empty job beneath the scene root, call it, um, I will call it cube base. Then I add another, 3D object called, which is the cube. And the cube should be around 15 centimeters on each side, 0.15. And we'll move up 0.075. And this cube will exactly stay at the center. Perfect. And I will create another empty game object, which is, which is our image tracker. Just call it image tracker. And there we'll go, we're going to add the WebXR image tracking. And we'll just have to add images here with a width, width in meters. I'll just make it 0 0.15 and an object to track, which is the cube base and an image to track. We don't have an image here, so I'll go to assets, create a new folder, call it textures, and just go to my download folder and drag in, whoops, the hero PNG, which is basically only the hero marker, which I guess everybody knew, knows, and I'll add it to the image part here. So that's basically everything that it's needed for setting up the WebXR image tracking. And everything is now exported. You can leave the server running. It will reload, reload automatically if you save the scene. And now going to the smartphone, I'll just launch the screen copy so you can see everything. And when the when you open the Chrome browser on Android, it's the only way that the image tracking is working. Make sure that you select the, that you open the Chrome flags. You can see in the address bar and type in WebXR to the filter. And there you have to enable the WebXR incubations and the WebXR shared buffers. Otherwise, this will not work. As I said before, there is an address here, which I will just type in now and it will tell me that is again not a safe site open it and as you can see here and when i try to move around this will behave exactly as we're used on the browser move it over here so you can see a little bit here we go click on ar and scan the paper marker and as you can see with the paper marker it works extremely well Okay, just move it here and there. And that's basically the image tracking. 
in WebXR with needle tools using Unity as visual editor. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.